Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the fourth update, I believe, to the Mission 100% Cruelty Free Project Pam that was started by my friend Sarah. In this project, we're working on five non-cruelty free items in our collection at a time. This is rolling. And once you meet your goal on five products, you can do a bit of a refresh. And I'm really excited to say that I have completed five products in this project so I will be giving it a bit of a facelift if you will in this video. I do like to give you guys an update on how cruelty free my collection is in my uh, my personal updates. So if I include all of my beauty products that's nail polish, fragrances, lotions, hair care, everything. My collection is now 84% cruelty free which is amazing. I've been working so hard on that. But if we're just talking makeup, my collection is 88% cruelty free. And I do feel really good about that. And that's not just from adding more makeup to my collection. It's actually getting rid of and using up the non cruelty free items as well. And I'm really excited to continue to make progress on this. This project doesn't have an end date. You can either go until you are 100% cruelty free or finish it off whenever you feel like it but I'm going to stop rambling and start giving you my updates. Let's start with the two goals that I've met since my last update. First up I have the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. For me personally my goal is to hit pan on pressed powder products and then once I have pan in all of my non cruelty free pressed powder products, I will circle back around and start finishing them off. So no, that's not going to help my numbers, but it will keep this project feeling fresh. So I did hit pan in this powder and that's pretty significant pan for right now. Um, I used it for a couple more days after seeing pan and then I did put it away. I do have two powders I'm working on in other projects. So I'm ready to put this back in my collection, but it feels really good to get some significant use out of it. And it is super thin all there in the center. So when I do um, circle back around to this, I don't think it will take too, too long to finish this product off, but it's not really suited for my skin type at the moment. This powder works best for me in the summer. I was also able to finish off the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Nourishing Primer. You did see this in my 2019 Makeup Empties because I did finish this before the beginning of the year. Even though you're not seeing this project update until February 6th, but I did finish this before January 1st, which feels really good. So this is another non-cruelty free product that's out of my collection. So after finishing those after meeting my goal on those two products, that completes my five and I will be doing a refresh and in my refresh, I will be kicking out my NARS Cruella Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. I was going to only keep it in until the little nub at the top is gone, but I didn't reach for this at all over the last two months, even through the holiday season. It's one of the 10 oldest products in my makeup collection. I I recently did that video as a collab with It's Just Steph and I don't have a sharpener big enough to sharpen this so instead of having this take up another spot within this project and also because of its age I'm ready to declutter this. I'm just not reaching for it. It's not worth it and since we're refreshing this project I'm ready to throw this in the trash. So the two remaining products in this project are these two. Um, first is my little mini deluxe size sample of NARS Laguna. I swear pan is days away. I've used this 12 times since the last update. I am working on two other bronzers as well, three bronzers in total. And this is a bit too deep for me right now, but I did use it today with a light hand. But let me try and show you. Can you see how thin maybe not again this is so close to hitting pan I can see the metal edge around so much of this product 
and there's a huge dip because my bronzer brush pretty much fills up this whole pan there's wear on the entire product this only contains 2.5 grams in total but again my goal will be to hit pan on this then give it a break and pull in something else to work on I really thought that there would be pan in this by this update but that's okay it can stay in and then out of my five products I always like to work on one non makeup product because actually the non makeup products are what's dragging down my percentage as you guys heard me say I have 88% cruelty free in my makeup collection but when I add in all of the fragrances and lotions nail polish all those other products it drags my percentage down to 84% so to continue to make progress I have one non makeup product in and so I chose my EOS green hand cream this was pretty full last time I forgot to mark it but there was a just an air bubble in the top here and now I am down to this black line and the cap starts right here so actually not that much left in here I'm really excited to get this done before the next update as well cruelty free or not these hand creams kind of suck so so these two products are what's left in the project meaning I have three products to roll in for this refresh first off I want to work on another lip gloss after the roulette pan collab finale and I thought this little mini would be a good place to start since I haven't finished off a lip product besides like a lip balm or tinted lip balm in such a long time. This is a little mini of the Dior Lip Maximizer. There are two mils in here. So I'm really hoping I can finish this off without too much trouble. I will have this set up so I can mark it, but I'm pretty close to the top. I've only used this a handful of times, I believe. But hopefully if I just use this on a consistent basis, this can be gone by the next update as well. This is another product that was in my 10 oldest makeup products video. This has been in my 18 and 2018 as well as my graveyard project pan and I still haven't finished it. This is the Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in the shade 8. And I will mark how much is left in this. But that's not very much lipstick. This is probably the lipstick that I have the least in, in terms of my non-cruelty free ones. So I would just want to finish this off and move it out. I actually do really like this lipstick, but it's not cruelty free. And I don't like it enough to have like wanted to repurchase it regardless anyways. And it is five years old. So, yuck. And lastly, if you watched my makeup inventory video, you know that my lip liner category is one I want to make significant progress on in 2020. I want to drop it down by like seven lip liners um, to meet my goal. Does that mean I'm going to be able to use up seven lip liners this year? Probably not, but I want to try. So this is one of my oldest lip liners. I'm working on a different shade of this in another project and it's going really well. So I thought I would grab this one out. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in the shade 63 East End Snob. Again, I will mark this on paper, but this lip liner is pretty creamy and I feel like there's not that much left of this. I feel like it is doable and these two will pair nicely or these two will pair nicely and also this goes with a couple of other lip products I'm working on in other projects as well so I just feel like this was a really good choice one that I can feasibly finish off in a reasonable amount of time but also pairs well with so many other projects that so many other products that I'm already working on so I'm rolling in three lip products. I'm working on a lot of lip products right now but this is a part of my makeup collection I need to make significant progress on this year. I'm on a serious lip product no buy. Do not buy any lip products. I haven't been for a very long time yet I'm still not making good progress on my inventory numbers so 2020 is the year 
So I'm working on a lip liner, a lipstick, a lip gloss, a bronzer, and a hand cream in this project. I'm hoping to continue to see my percentage grow with each update. So far I've been really doing really well with that except for I believe it was the first update it went down because Morphe became not cruelty free. And so I had to like adjust my inventory accordingly. But since then it's just continued to get better and better and I'm really proud of myself. So we're at 84%. We're aiming for 100% cruelty free. I forgot to mention we do update this project every second month, so be on the lookout for a new update on April 6th. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!